shit, huh? Dude, that's, dude, that's gotta be like 50s. Dollar days, baby. God, JP, look at this. You yeah, see this? Dryer, yeah, or a washer. Look at the refrigerator. Look. It's going real, bro. Oh my God, JP. It's a family Bible. Is it? John Milton Mashik, 1813. So like when people would die or get married and stuff. And they'd jot it down. And they jot it down in their Bible. Look right here. Mackey was their last name, 1785 to 1858. This Bible is from the 1700s. What's up guys, another day, another video. Here we are in historic Wareham, Massachusetts. Right behind me is a very famous historical building in Massachusetts, we're not here to check that out. But we're here to check out a couple of abandoned buildings, do some magnet fishing. And also when I come back to Wareham, I always come with backup. And I got JP with me again, as, as seen from the onset videos. Um, but we're excited, we can't wait to do this. We can at least definitely check out one of them. The other one, we're not sure if it's open, so we'll see. Anyway, let's do this. Let's do it. Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah, I don't think I've ever done a train track before in it in any video. Yep. <laughs> right? Dude, this place is old. All right, I'm just gonna put my light on my camera, but that's it right there. Yeah, this place has been abandoned as long as I can remember. Dude, Oh yeah, let me turn my light on real quick. Hey, there's jugs there. Yeah. For sure. Look at that bike. That's awesome. Yeah, we'll have to be careful on the floors in here for sure. There's an old stove in there. All right. That's cool. And now should we climb in should through we here? Through here? Ken, if you want, we could try yeah, the first one. Just in case there's no stairwell. Yeah, exactly. Dude, I know. It's kind of rotted too, so we'll have to be very careful in here. Ugh. Wow. This is real China. Maybe this was from in here. Animals have been in here. Yeah, you can smell it. Uh huh. Wow. I know. I'm just giving the, the floors a feel in here. We're okay. Um, wow, dude. It really is. We got like an old stove in here, old toilet. Um, I'm just like trying to take this all in. Wow. Yeah, like I said, I don't remember this place being lived in. Do you? Oh my God, JP. Look at this. You see this? Yeah, or a washer. Look at the refrigerator. Look. Holy shit, it's a washer. Look how small it is, not a lot. A can opener, yeah. That old fridge, man. Oh my god, that newspaper. This is it's old, bro. Deep. We can find out how old this place is. Do you have a favor? Just hold that? Yeah. Let's check dude, it Roger out. Clemens. Roger Cle Dude, that's 96, dude. Nineteen ninety, August twenty sixth, nineteen ninety. Clemens shit. Blanks J's, UN gives Bush okay to enforce embargo. Iraq, it's about the Iraq War before the Iraq War started. That's wild, dude. That's crazy. Sunday Herald, Boston Herald. 
Look wild. at the old refrigerator. <laughs> this is Dude, wild. This right here. For the 1991 Ford Escort. <laughs> wow, huh? Three men and a baby ghost. And the baby ghost. Remember, you know when that happened? You ever seen that before? No. In that movie? So the people claim there's a ghost in the movie. Right there. He just kind of shows up. Boy, that shows up out of nowhere. Oh my god, look at this. Jordan Knight quashes gay rumors. <laughs> wow, Levi's. $29.95. Why, Jordan Marsh? We're giving you a bonus. Jordan Marsh, fucking advert. Wow. I could look at this newspaper all day. Wow. Yeah, so this was a bit. Oh, here we go. Look at this. TV prices. How much TVs were? 250 cents. That's mm -hmm. still a pretty good price for TV. Yeah, hell yeah. How's the fridge look? It's uh, rinsing oil in here. Check that out. Uh huh, just a Westinghouse. 1950s, probably. It's wild. Some oil. <laughs> it stinks. Look at the stove, huh? Not as old, but still. This is really old. <laughs> this stove right here? Yeah, dude. 100%. Oh my god. Wow, huh? Wow, the old cookie cheese. That is fucking wild. That's cool. Oh, sorry. I'm sorry. Wow, huh? Wow, look at this, dude. Maxwell House. Look at the Kino. The old Kino. Thingy. Probably when first Kino came out. Oh my god, look at the game slip. I wonder how much more simpler it was. It's in the cookie tin. I don't know, let's open it up. The bat flies out of it. <laughs> Check out the picture on the front. That's pretty cool. That is kind of cool. I like that. It looks cool. It's definitely old. Nothing. It's cool. Wait till you go in this dining room. Looks like somebody <laughs> just left it the way it is. I know, there's just so much to look at. Look at this. There's like a shucking knife right on, right on the floor. Right oh, dude, this is the stairs to the second floor. Wow. Is there a second? Yeah, it's, second floor? it's an attic, yeah. Wow, look at that old can opener over there. I'm going to zoom in on it. Uh, Chock full of nuts. Want some black paper, dude? Check this out. Yeah, I got. Yeah, I saw that. That's what I'm saying. That's this old. Black paper inside of it too. Look at that. Oh my god, it's still. I mean, it still works. That is awesome, dude. Where do you want to go first? Let's check out this. Let's check this first floor. Dude, there's a bedroom back here too. Shit. This looks like a stairwell to the. Basement. basement. Wow, that's, oh, that's right, the basement. What is that? Is that a tool? It's like some kind of like motor or something? I'm trying not to like break things as I'm stepping on. Oh, it's a closet. Town of Wayham Annual Report, 1993. Um, yeah, I don't know what this is. It's, oh, it's a door hinge thing. Is it? It's like a, to like, you know, to slow a door down from closing so fast. Yeah, Annual Report, 1993. No, here you go. Dude. Dude. <laughs> wow. This is just a mess, huh? Alright. Like I said, be careful of your step at three or two. Looking at everything real quick. Yeah, there's no way anyone slept in here in a long time. This is like a stove, I think. Yeah, see? It's like a heating stove for the house. 
It's a brand new refrigerator. What is this? The talking phone book. Wow. Oops. Oh, jeepers. Yeah, so this person's been, was a resident of Wayham for a long time, 1961. So they were, um, what is that, a catalog, an open catalog? It's actually uh, a table clock. It's a curtain. Oh, dude, look at this, Kmart. Dollar days, baby. Wow. This place is just, oh yeah, huh? This thing's huge. Oh yeah. Dude, this place is a find and a half. There's all kinds of things in here. <laughs> it's, this is kind of like how the house was yesterday, JP. Was it? Yeah. Just like this. Everything just left behind, guys? Yeah. 100%. This is a bedroom. This is a bedroom? Yeah. Oh shit. Damn it. Damn it. Um. Because I just like how the. Let me just zoom out real quick. The, the things are like falling off the wall. That whatever I'm trying to say. There's some clothes left in here. You know what's weird about this shirt? Yeah, uh, the, the other house I checked out had a shirt just like this. I'm just going to turn down my light a little bit. Yeah. Plastic one. Try not to like step on stuff and break it. Everything's just. Oh, dude. I'll, just, I'll get a look at that. USA. USA. Wow, uh, how's owls and linens and stuff? Anything else over there? Is that a sewing machine? It is. Is, is it? Is it a singer? Or is it a desk? It looks like some sort of desk that opened up. Oh, this thing from... oh wow, JP. Did you see that TV next to you? Oh, dude. Holy shit, huh? Dude, that's, uh, dude, that's gotta be like 50s. That's probably one of the coolest things. I'm gonna get a picture of this yeah, one. Get... More newspapers down here. 1990. So it looks like 1990 is the last year that somebody was here. So far, that's the latest year we've seen in here. Um, all right, maybe we'll walk around. Yeah. This house is a lot bigger than I thought. There's a lot of cool. What's um, that? There's a over here. I think there's a door going from the I front. think so, yeah. Is it over? Yeah, I'm going to flash on it. Oh, there's a few rooms back here, bro. Check this out. Dude, look at this. JP. Annual report, town of Wareham, 204th, 1943. Is it Christmas ornaments? Dude, they are. There's Christmas decorations. You know what that's probably worth? If it's real? That's definitely, it's definitely old. What is this? Oh, just, just the whole box. This mm -hmm. yard and stuff. That is good. Just these jeans alone, too. Look at these jeans. Yeah. Are those real Levi's? I don't think so, no. Looks like somebody made, yeah. made them themselves. They do look like that. What is this? Puzzle. Yeah, that is puzzle cool. Thing. Yeah, they were... Definitely into the town of Wareham. Look, 1942. Wait till you come in here, dude. This is wild right here. A little dark. It's okay. Look at the, uh, 
Just look at the wallpaper, man. Look, this is Boston. I'm pretty sure. Looks like they got some sort of Dutch oven back here. Dude. See that? Oh my God. Dude, they literally do. Wow. Maybe this was a restaurant. Like, look, this is like a furnace. Like a, hmm. I don't know if I want to step on that. Here, let me give you some light. That's, that's the basement. Okay. Yeah. Check that out. I don't know it, it just yeah it's just the chimney for the whole house so it looks like it's connected to the kitchen and also connected to the living room too so it was just like this must have been the heating for the whole house for sure well Original freaking uh, like you put it on top of the stove and it would toast and heat things up maybe yeah and you know I guess oh what's this mother dear for ages for ages men praise mother love so hard to read the hires of blue and pink and others far more talented have set it down in ink. So let us move into song. Mother dear, I love you. That's all I can say. Look at these. This stuff. House paint. Wow, the house part. Oh, careful. I felt that floor move. Mm -hmm. Wow, huh? There's a piano and another TV right there. Oh, yeah, this is one of those ones you pull off the, uh, yeah, you know that you had to put it to channel three. Yeah, for sure. Two. Yeah, be careful over here. It's weak, the floor. Right there? Mm hmm. It will just keep a uh, distance apart. It'll, it should be yeah, fine. So there's not a lot of weight. Whatsoever. Yeah, exactly. Dude, this is old too. Look at this. The stand, that's the bottom, and then it leads up to the top. The little lights. There must have been a light on the top of here. Yeah. For sure. It is ashtray. Is that ashtray? Yeah, it is. It's just missing the, the tray. The yeah. tray. Yeah, I just wanted to get a look at this TV. That's cool, huh? That's like 80s, though. That's not that old. 70s, maybe. Oh, see the antenna? That's sick. Oh, let me zoom in on it. You open, we turn it on, it goes on by itself. Oh my god. Yeah, that's how it would work. <laughs> wow, that's an old piano. You play it. It works. Creepy. It sounds like it's in tune. It that's does. Oh, well, not all the keys work. See the reverberation on that too? The reverb on there is crazy. Dude, look at this. It's like coming off the fucking thing. Must have been an insert that they put in. Yeah, they put a cover back here. It's another toaster. Oh, so you back into the kitchen, eh? Yep. So it's like a or a bathroom of some sort right here. 
Oh, it's another bedroom. It's another bedroom. Not much. There's a scratch ticket. <laughs> right here, yeah. It's amazing how much these have changed over the years. This one actually is very similar to the ones they have now. It's not much different at all. Here's a receipt from Kmart. Came to something, I can't read it. Uh, I thought that was like a pocket knife or something. Okay. So let's take some yeah, like I said, not a lot to see in this room. As far as I know, I can't see much. Um, maybe that's like a desk or something. Just some clothes. Yeah, not much. Unless there was something underneath the bed. But yeah, definitely, uh, definitely early 90s. This place was... Alright, there's that room back there we haven't seen. Is this is the mat. Yeah, this room. Is this? That's the attic. It's pretty big up there. It's it is. Scary. Give it a shot. Just be careful on the stairs. I'll wait till you get all the way up and let me know how it feels with your feet. You're right here. There you're there. Machine yeah. Machine yeah. Wow, look at the bed mattress skip they get up here. <laughs> the frame. Oh, dude, wait until you come over here. What are you seeing? Wait until you see this, bro. This is wild. This is something I don't It's like to make cloth and yarn, yeah. yeah? It's a spinner. Yeah. This belongs in the historical Pokemon that I have. Yeah, dude, it really does. Look at this. Look. Everything appears old. Look. Narragansett, banquet of banquet ale. That is wild. Oh my god, bro. It's a doll. It's a doll. It's like a bay angle. Everything up here is like probably 1920s. Look at this. I've seen these before. Look at the skates. There's a letter in here. There's a book. You can read it. If I can, if it's in, it's in cursive. Basil the Herm, Herman. The day came when the something, whatever that word is, for, farmer were to leave their beautiful village of Grant Pre something and his son Gabriel were placed in different ships always be it's so hard to read blacksmith and used that work only he had always worked in Acadia I think that's New York Acadia yeah he always used to something climate of Arcadia the cool climate of Arcadia when he was found by the something in wandering, he had become a prospect, a P word, man, in losing, a prospector of something in Louisiana. Then he had to beat everything and captured, man, dude, it's so hard to read. Something about he had suffered a fever that caused blah 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 and something to do with the climate again he had made good he had set uh, for hunting for gabriel with eveline or something like that but when eveline stopped at the mission he had come back and went back to his work and his something hmm. american encyclopedia one thing I do notice behind you, what, do you, what is that book on, on your foot? This looks like a Bob Hill too. Oh, so it's, it's, it's like here. fishing and stuff, what fish are and what climates and... Like an almanac type Yeah, thing. exactly. Now one thing I did notice behind you, 
I saw a record player. Did you see one? Yeah, there is. Saw it right here. Oh, look at that. It's an it's old one, player. JP. Look at that, man. Dude, it had the styrofoam thing, you know, like the little... Yeah, like a horn. Uh-huh. What? Wait, look at this ancient Easy Bake Oven, bro, dude. Right here. Your girl would go crazy. Look at that. Wow. Yeah, it's like a little... Um... I know. Summer rhubarb. I bet that had some rhubarb in it originally. Who's that right here in town? Probably got it from one of the local markets. There's another picture of a house. It's not this house, though. Everything up here is super old. This is the top to the record player. That is neat. It'd be cool to find some old records. Look at this. Look at these little canisters here. Oh, my, look, see, it was a crank one. You know, you crank it. It's probably got all the. Look at that's a pocketbook, GP. <laughs> I doubt it. <laughs> but it's an old. But it's an old pocketbook. Look, it had a mirror, a little mirror inside of it. Check this book. This? Holy Bible. It's a Bible. How old is this? It's, oh, it's so tattered. You're not going to tell. That's sad, dude. This is old, though. This is old. Look, it has pictures. That's the, the temple. Wow. It's unreal, bro. Oh, my God, GP. It's a family Bible. Is it? John Milton Mashik, 1813. So like when people would die or get married and stuff. And they jot it down. And they jot it down in their Bible. Look right here. Mackey was their last name. 1785 to 1858. This Bible is from the 1700s. I mean, pilgrims. Possibly. Ugh. Oh, look. Look, look, look. Uh, Sons of Wareham. Men who became famous in different walks of life. Historical paper, John Noble Ever. Andrew Mackey, Andrew Mackey was born Southampton, July 1742. And his son, jo Dr. John Mackey, moved to the town in 1764. Wow. I'm just gonna scroll over this and then, just so everyone can read it. Who's the town clerk? But yeah, this is the fam their family Bible. So I'm assuming the people that lived here were the, the Mackeys. Mackeys. Yeah. That is cool. That's really cool. Wow, huh? That's a shame that they're... They must have just died out or something. Their whole family. I'm so glad we looked at this Bible. Dude, there's a picture over here. And I bet it's of the family. John something Cranston Ryder. See? This place is. Every single time I go to another abandoned building, it's, it turns out to be the coolest place I've ever been to. Yeah, I know. Nineteen. I got a letter over here from nineteen thirty-two. <clears throat> There's another conch shell too. I know, I'm just going really slow because I want to make sure we don't miss anything that's possibly like really cool, you know? Yeah, there's a lot of cool stuff. Do you hear that? Absolutely. Look at this. Look like really? somebody drew that. Yeah, right? It's a piece of leather. Yeah, it is a piece of leather. It's a postcard. It's got an original stamp on it. Miss Benjamin. Lucy. 
Lucy verse verse. Those kids. Imagine if those are the kids that were playing out here. Could be this could be from the schoolhouse down the street too. What's this? Fitchburg. Here, Danny Mackey, 1840, JP. It's just been sitting here ever since. Yeah, mayor should be monitoring on the lock for the light. It's a book. What's the book? The Holy Bible. It's his personal little Bible. Is it? Yeah, his, his book Bible. Famous poems. Wow. Top of a chest. Oh shit. Mason jar or some sort? Maybe, yeah. Right, you yeah, right. Yeah, I know the skate. Oh place. my god, look, it's a kid's shopping cart. A wooden, it's like kind of destroyed a little bit, but this is kind of in the way. Oh, look, see? It's a kid's shopping cart. Well, it's kind of like ruined and destroyed a little bit, but you can kind of tell it has like the wheels on it. And that's the other side of it, or the bottom. Like this, you know? Yeah. It's really cool. Wow, huh, bro? This is unbelievable. I this is the coolest. Literally, like literally a time capsule, but from 1840. Like in 1700s. But there's stuff in here from the 1800s, which is mind blowing. Yeah. This Bible is like 200 years old. That's insane. Could you imagine if we brought it out to the light? You would just like. Like, it's just sad, like it's just right sad here, to like... me that it's just all this stuff sitting here, you know? It's wasting weight. Like, this Bible should be in a museum. I'm not selling like Indiana Jones, but... Is that a, that's a roller skate, it looks like. Something, or something with wheels. Oh, yeah, maybe, yeah, the bottom of a roller skate. This is another Bible? I'm gonna close their Bible up. Their family Bible. That's nuts. That's absolutely nuts. There's so much stuff there's, there's a basketball behind over here, a foot. It's like deflated as hell. <laughs> oh, it's just a bean bag. No, that's a pin cushion. Pin cushion, that's exactly what that is. Look, JP. Ah. Wanna open this up for me? That's old. Just look at those prices. Oh, I don't want to rip no. that. Careful. It's like bolt. Somebody made a hat out of it. You see that? Oh or my bolt. god, it is, dude. Hold this. I'm gonna put it on. <laughs> When's the last time someone put this on? Ballin. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right, let me see if I can take this apart without like destroying it. Ah, damn it. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Men's shirts, two for two fifty. <laughs> that is cool. That's uh, that should show you how old this is. It's at least the sixties. Maybe even older. Bacon, 35 cents. Hold up. I'm trying to open this up so you can see it all. You get a date on it. The date's usually at the top corner of the, of the... 1936. Wow. Friday, April 10th, 1936. Girl ate, lost in forest 12 days. She said she was... Birds kept her from feeling alone. That is strange. <laughs> Amazing. Like, <laughs> said, like I said, it's just amazing to me. Like you know, people ask me why do you do, why do you go into abandoned buildings? This is why. Exactly. You know what I mean? Because of things like this. This is just amazing. Go Taylor, Kentucky whiskey. Dollar ninety-five a quart. Jeez. 
<laughs> they were getting amps off there back then. Oh, seriously. Wow. I almost just, uh, wow, just, just wow. There's an old suitcase right there. Yeah. This might have been the, the thing, an ashtray or something. The top of that. The ashtray yeah, downstairs, maybe. possibly, yeah. I wonder how, how, when's the last time someone's been up here really looking around at stuff? I doubt. A long time. At least in, from the 90s. Yeah. He's downstairs. Anything that was new was from the 90s. Yeah, for sure. Did you see some of these jars over there? They got any of the, uh... I don't know. I did do a look, walk around, but... Let's just... I think it's a couple of people look again. Because some of these books I didn't look at. You know? I didn't really get a good look at any of this stuff. What's this? This is, dude, this is going to be 30s. 10 cents. Look at the kids in the picture. That's fine. This is unbelievable. Like I said, I could see here all day and look at this stuff. Yeast adds, adds up to 15, 5 to 15 pounds in weeks. This is different. Oh my God! Look at cigarette. Uh, a pipe advert. Calling all trained men. To school. That is cool. Wow, time sports. It's like a sports magazine. Definitely, definitely. Uh, oh whoa. It's gonna be hard to read. List of, oh my God, what the hell? List of good apples? I think, I don't know what this is. Oh, it's okay, that's a list of good apple farms, I think is what it was. That's cool. Yeah. It's a battery. That is? Yeah, an old battery. Like, very old. That is deep. Mm-hmm. Extra large, light bulb. Mm-hmm. I'm just now I'm fascinated with all these books. It's another Bible. Nice little Mohicans. Property of the town of Wayham. This is a book from the library. That's awesome. <laughs> what if we took this back and returned it? Uh... <laughs> We like to return a book that's uh, a couple hundred years uh, past due. <laughs> Nineteen hundred. This is a book about the pilgrims. This is too. It looks like looks like a picture of a pilgrim. Yeah, King Philip, chief of the people in the Wampanoags. Yeah, it's strange that I just pulled that out. Yeah, right. Oh my God, who's this guy? Is there a name? No name. A little kid. Dude, that might be from this house. One doubt it. <laughs> Two forty Main Street, Patterson, New Jersey. Weird. Must be family members of theirs or something. The plague year. Our journey in the plague year. It's got to be about the Spanish flu. That's nineteen hundreds. Early 1900s, you know? Yeah. 
There's another newspaper over here. 1930. Okay. William Wong learns English. <laughs> Like a Japanese guy or something. <laughs> Five cents. Yeah, not much on here. Oh, what's this? It's something receiving diplomas in June. This is like a graduating class of somewhere. I don't know where. Members of the class of, oh my god, 1930. Wow. This is Wayham High School. Is it really? Yeah. It's Wayham High School graduating class, 1930. Some of these people might be relatives of ours. 100%. I don't know because I can't see all their names, but. Could you imagine if my grandmother was in there? Dude, right. Exactly. I don't know where their names are. We'd have, I'll have to look it up. I could look it up for sure. Wow, huh? Yeah, this oh is. Oh, God, my knees are killing me. Wild. Dude, what a cool place, though. I, I think. We haven't even got to the basement yet. No, That's I know. <laughs> This, uh, the upstairs though, is probably the coolest part so far. All right. Wow. I could come back here in the future. Yeah, we'll have to come back and check it out. Mm hmm Look through some it's of this like stuff. It's like a whole day worth of like, just exploring all the... Yeah, yeah. All of this stuff. Look, this is the back game and game. Little checkers on the back. There's a picture right here of the couple kids. Really hard to see. That's kind of creepy, you know what I mean? Children of the Battlefield? <laughs> what? What the fuck? I can't see what this says. Children of the Battlefield, though. <sighs> Look at this, JP. Hoodsy. Hoodsy cover. Picture frame. Find a little bit of spoon to go with it. It's a receipt. General merchandise from SSS Keys, South Wareham. It's a receipt. They bought from whatever they bought. Let's see if we can see. Um, they spent a dollar thirty-four. Black something cereal. I can't read what this says. Uh, kind of like, really, like see. This is a cool picture. I'm just gonna take. Could you imagine we were bolstering that chair or something? Dude, I know that chair is pretty cool. Yeah, there's letters here. There's a couple of scrolls here. I don't know if this is a uh, wallpaper or not. JP, this is an unopened letter. Pardon? Yeah, it's an unopened letter. You know what this is, eh? Dude, you want it's to... a fly swat. No, I th it's either that or it's to heat up the the stove when you're... to keep the flames going. That you know what cool. I mean? I think it, it's one of the two. I'm not sure. I'm going to open this letter. It's a card. Oh my god, this has never been opened before. To try to get some house cleaning done, I had... Dad is... Okay, I tried to get some house cleaning done. Dad is well. He was able to take the his Monday morning walks again. I must write you in a few more letters. Hope this finds everyone in good health. Marion wrote me her father was homesick and not feeling good. Hope he is not sick. Most people have had the terrible colds here. Do hope you escape it. Something, a name. We haven't had it yet. And it, I shouldn't knock on wood. 
for there is no there is time time yet so we'll stay so long for now regards to the family Medine. I wonder if that's Spanish flu time period yeah, well, we've seen a bunch of the Spanish flu back there right yeah because uh, like she, she's saying how like everyone's sick you know what I mean kind of like the plague like the plague yeah yeah Spanish flu plague here's another one it was to Miss Jeannie Ryder I'm related to some riders. Are you? Yeah, I am. So this could be, it's to Lucy. Lucy Morrison. Postage stamp. 1947. I'm opening it. Let's find out what the letter says. September 27th, 1947. Dear Mrs. Morrison, thank you so much for the talcum powder. Old Spice is my favorite brand. How funny is that? That is And wild. my mother is too. So I just hope she do, doesn't try to borrow it too often. My grandmother, Frances, was here on Christmas Day. She gave each of the girls a blouse, which she made. Some of the other gifts to be received were a house coat, some books, stationery, novelty candies, and two sweaters. I hope you had a very Merry Christmas. Yours truly, Janine Ryder. invitation to a victory ball committee um, in t at Toby Hospital. This might be... <laughs> did you see the picture? Yeah, <laughs> I did. <laughs> oh, can you, I can turn the light on if you need to bring yeah, it up. How do you do that? Um, I just... Oh, that's... Oh, it is Easter right now. It was 1954. Thanks. Just the view of the chair, and then no. get the singer. No, there's another big um, problem over there. Like, like I said, I could, I could be here for hours just looking at this stuff, or reading all these letters, you know? I just find it fascinating. To mom on Mother's Day, 1956. Mammy, my hurry. This is Arthur Morrison. That's a letter from Maryland, Rockville, Maryland, 1952. Wow, quite the letter. Holy shit. Yes, this is a letter that was sent from here. But maybe never sent out. Is that a sparkler? Oh my god, look at the sparkler there. Oh my god. Wow. Alright. We can go downstairs. I just. I could spend all Check day. Check out years. the Dole's Hawaiian pineapples, too. Yeah, I know. Box. I know. Uh huh. So much cool stuff. <coughs> just wow. That's all I can say about it. Alright, you want to go to Old Gold in the Basement? Let's check it out. I was just, uh. <coughs> it's a little dusty up there. You alright? Yeah, I'm good. Get the air up here getting to me. You want this? You want this back here? Yeah, I'll take it. The upper room, 1953. Sorry. No, you're fine. Box like that. There's so many like little notes in here. They're just so fascinating. At least I do. I find them fascinating. I find it very fascinating. Arthur from something all their names. Eddie Anderson. Hmm. All right. Wow, huh? What a cool place. This is cool. There's probably a lot more that we didn't even see. Oh, 100%. Just like stuck underneath other things or like back up here, you know? Yeah, it is. Tissues. It's tissues. Like makeup, maybe. Yeah, maybe they're. Did you actually look at that person we were in? Actually... Like in good condition. You can bring it back in good condition. 
Right. I was thinking there might be something cool in there. I know. That's what that's what's sad about abandoned buildings is you know all the stuff just goes to Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, fixing well, it up. It. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I know. Um, I, was trying to think, I was trying to see if we can get back in here. Make some room, maybe we could. I know. Hey, here. It's before I can hang here since that person lived here. Yeah. It's old. For sure, old. Closet, I think, right? Yeah. I love this old sink. Dear JP, I'm gonna. Can you go no, I'm gonna try to get over to this room, but I gotta put my phone down. Okay. It's not too too old. Maxwell back. House. That's all right. So I just wanted to try to get back in here real quick. Already too late. Yeah, nothing in here. All right, I guess we're ready for the basement. It's really good idea. <laughs> we'll do the again. <laughs> I know. Molasses? Molasses, it looks like. It is. Exactly what it is. It's old. Yeah, like, it must have been a very elderly person that lived in here. Because we did see some things from the 90s, like, but some like of this stuff's really old. Like one of the aunt's houses or something. Like on Nancy's or something? Yeah. Back when... Pie pan. Check those old out. school. That's a cool one. Cool. Alright, we'll do the basement. Products. I don't know what this is. No names. It's an old school. Any dolphins? Dude, yeah, it's a football. <laughs> That's funny. That's probably like 90s right there. Yeah. Look at this barrel. Look at that stove. That stove. That'd be cool to bring back to life, the stove. Mm -hmm. Not a lot to see in here. Just some junk. Something like it. The attic was probably the, uh, the best. Definitely had all the history in it. Yeah, these bikes are definitely from the 90s. It's just so weird. There's so many of them. Another one of those blankets, too. The football blanket right there. Another one. The comforter. So somebody must have been... Because look at the new pipe right here. This is new plastic. Yeah. This isn't... They probably were fixing it up in the early 90s. Or late 80s. You know? Before that person died. I'm assuming that person passed away. And then once they passed away, it was kind of like the end of this house. This looks like it might have been a finished room at one point. Yeah. But what? I don't know, yeah. Maybe a kitchen? Maybe like Could a be. Could be, yeah. Yeah, because at some point someone tried to lock this house up, see? See the wood? Ooh, look at the old saw blade right here. Oh, wow. Yeah, like a two-handed saw. That's cool as hell, man. It's a glass jar. Oh, shit, this has something on it. What does this say? Arrow. 
What does it say? Armor Laboratory, Chicago. Medicine bottles, kind of crazy stuff. Yeah. Cool. Old rake or something right there. Yeah. What is that? It's a yeah. stool. Yeah, a part of it. Wow. What a cool building. Yeah, it is. I've never been here before. Me neither. Dude, this is one of those buildings. Dude, correct me if I'm wrong. You've seen this on forever on the side oh, of it. Driving, driving by all the time. All the time. Growing up. You know what I mean? You always wonder, like, what's, what's in, in there? there? Now we know. What a cool place. If the person that lives here is still here, you have a cool house. We love it. Definitely. Thanks for letting us in. Yeah, right? Hell yeah, dude. Awesome. You're not scared the hell out of <laughs> All right. First house is checked out. Honestly, really cool. A lot of history in there. The next house is over this way. We're going to see if we can get to it from here. If not, we'll have to go around. But we're going to give it a shot. 